Archbishop John, Tuesday the 20th of June this year is World Refugee Day. What is your main message for World Refugee Day? Well, I think the, actually the message that has been picked up by uh, the UN uh, Commission for Refugees is as good a one as any, which is hope away from home. Um, because uh, we have large numbers of refugees in Ireland and in the United Kingdom who by and large are people who would like to go back to the places they've had to flee from when circumstances allow that. But in the meantime, it's important that we give them a sense of hope, that we uh, support them when they're here and that we support them in whatever way we can uh, for that um, ambition that they have to go back home to contribute to the countries that they've been brought up in, grown up in, and really want to be part of. Uh, now, there are some, obviously, who don't wish to go back, and I think it would be dangerous to go back, uh, but for the others, to give them a sense of hope through a sense of belonging. Thank you. That's, um, that's very important. And um, uh, perhaps another question. In what ways is the Church of Ireland responding to help refugees on our island here? Well, there are, I mean, if you look across the dioceses of the Church of Ireland, throughout Ireland, there are all sorts of ways that parishes uh, have been doing that. We've been fortunate enough to benefit from um, a, a grant from the Benefact Trust to help in projects of this sort, particularly for Ukrainian uh, refugees, but we've also been helping others. And if you look across Ireland, you'll see that some parishes are running uh, language classes, some of them are uh, offering after-school support, some of them uh, are offering more enculturation, allowing people, getting, helping people to understand the culture that they're in. Some are doing very basic things like providing new mothers with baby essentials. So all sorts of what you might call practical and social uh, and of course spiritual help uh, so that people can, for the time that they're here, feel that they're part of the community. And in many ways, that's the most important thing that we can do uh, for people who are displaced from their own com uh, country. Uh, first, certainly not cut off any hope of going home, but also make people feel a sense that they're welcomed here and that they're, for the time that they're here, be that long or short, are a part of the community. Thank you, oh, Archbishop John, for your time today in answering our questions. One uh, final question, if I may. How can we help our communities to be welcoming places? I think um, it's like everything else, it needs to be done slowly and with understanding because when people see um, people who they don't know, people from a country, maybe speaking a language they don't understand, that can be a little bit challenging to them, sometimes frightening, sometimes a bit off-putting, and they just sometimes don't know what to say. I think it's to encourage people to say that, you know, um, there's nothing quite like a smile and a hello to begin with to people and then to try to build up a relationship with individuals and with groups so that uh, a trust uh, is at the foundation of everything that we do uh, and uh, I think to reassure people the vast majority of refugees who come to Ireland uh, are here uh, not because they particularly wish to be uh, but when they are here they too want to take a part want to take part in the society that we live in.